seems think. like you're alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was just about. <laughs> Tell my feet that. <laughs> I love my hair. Is Thank that you. part of the look? Absolutely, yeah. She got electrocuted, so. <laughs> She's got white hair. <laughs> so are we going to see like a uh, it's not so much a power, but you're going to see more skill. She's been brought back and trained up by Rachel Ghoul, so she has fighting ability now, which will be a kind of Aikido based martial arts, um, using other people's force against them because, you know, she's not a superhuman. She's still, I'm still the size that I am, so if I'm fighting somebody big, I have to be able to find a way to use their energy and power back against them because I can't just muscle it. All that we can. <laughs> It's been great actually. I've been working on um, on both angles. There's a kind of more meditative uh, element to it, which is uh, about finding your center and breathing and being like relaxed. And then there's the more powerful side of it, which is about training hard and getting fit. So I've been doing both sides, which has been really nice. Given so David's I, I, uh, Barbara is interacted with the version of Bruce Wayne that is the kind of child you know millionaire and that's really interesting because you know she sort of calls him a brat and stuff and she sees this side of him but she's not met him as Bruce Wayne will become Batman. So I think that would be a really interesting development. Um, but I, I'm, I'm not sure whether the, I'm not sure that anybody can know him like that, other than you know Alfred um, and maybe you know, well, Rush, Rachel Gould, obviously maybe Jim. You know, I think that pocket has to be quite self-contained. Otherwise, everybody would just know who Batman was. <laughs> so we talked a little bit in the panel about you and the Tabitha character, and the character kind of becoming a family triumph. Yeah. Which kind of evokes thoughts of like the Gotham City Sirens. Yeah. Um, is that something that's currently going to be in right the Gotham storyline on the Sirens? Um, are you going to become a character we may all already know? Um, I don't, I think right now she's just going to remain as Barbara because I think you're referring to Harley. And, um, <laughs> That side of Barbara has kind of been, like, I felt like that's who she was and who she becomes now is a much more kind of centered, calm martial arts, like everything's sort of quite clear for her, whereas Harley Quinn's just... So the crazy Barbara's kind of gone. gone. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So how is it portraying a character that is, like, that isn't based on any other, like, specific character, but is pulled into a different Is that freeing, or do you kind of wish that you had someone to go off of? It's really freeing, actually, and I think that I've been able to have um, a much wider range of things to play as well because of that. We've sort of changed her up every year, which has you know, been fantastic for me to play. I think sometimes I look at you know Robin and Corey, Penguin, Riddler, and think like, it would be quite nice to have something like a you know, especially because fans really react to that as well. You know, they like to be able to say like, oh, it's so what I expected Penguin to be, or it's not, or, you know. So it's. There's both of those sides of things, but I'm really happy with the kind of amazing art that she's had and the, and the fact that we've been able to create characters. Really brilliant. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.